Hi everyone, this is Varex Bricks back with another video. Hey guys, this time we're going to be going over the April Lego Star Wars sets. They're going to be coming out in April for the Han Solo film. Anyway, this is going to be when all the Han Solo toys are, going to, toys are going to be coming out and such. These are the Lego Star Wars sets that are going to be coming out for that wave. And so, they are really that many, but there's, there's some pretty cool ones here. And so, let's get into it. And so, the first, the first one we got here is the Jedi and Clone Troopers Battle Pack. It's set number is 75206. It's going to come with four main figures. And now I got a picture of this set for you guys. Like a, like a, like a rough rumor picture of it. And it looks like we're going to have Coleman Trevor. Trevor? Coleman Trevor or something like that. From Attack of the Clones. Only from Attack of the Clones. And we're going to have Kiai Mundi. And then we're gonna have two clone phase two clone troopers. And so yeah, this is gonna be an awesome battle pack for us Clone Wars fans. And I really like that. I really like that that Wego is respecting the prequels and giving us sets from the prequel trilogy. And so I really love that. Very like that they're giving us some more prequel sets. That's this is really what it's gonna look like. This is what we're gonna be basically getting from this set. And for what I can tell, this is a very, this is going to be at least be a very interesting and fun set, and I'm definitely going to be doing a review on this when the when this comes out. The way I get, it. so yeah, and more than likely it's going to retail for fourteen ninety nine or fifteen U S dollars. Yeah, we could probably, yeah, we could take a look at it right here. Yeah, this is sixteen. It says sixteen ninety nine euros, but it's probably going to retail for fourteen ninety nine or fifteen U S dollars in the U S. So yeah. The next one here is a based off the Han Solo standalone film that's going to come out in May. Um, it is called the Imperial Patrol Battle Pack. It is set number 75207. It has four May figures. It's going to come with four May figures at least. We do not have any pictures of the set. Um, so we're going to basically predict or at least speculate what's going to come in it. I would say this is going to come with two troopers that are going to be brand new to the Han Solo film. At least get two of those, a stormtrooper and a imperial officer. Based off what we've seen from previous battle packs for the last two years, more than likely we're gonna either get two troopers from the and that are gonna be new to the console film, and one stormtrooper and officer. Those two troopers, those two new troopers, two stormtroopers, or those two new troopers, or two officers. And two officers. So we basically have three choices. We we could get the two new officers, two uh, and two officers, two new stormtroopers or whatever from the new exclusive from the Han Solo film. And get two officers, get two stormtroopers, or just get one officer and one stormtrooper. So we got like, basically three possibilities here. And more than likely, from knowing Lego for the past two years, they probably got to give us two. The two new troopers, at least two of the new tro Imperial Trooper from the Han Solo film, and give us two officers. More than likely, that's what probably what, what Wego's going to do. <laughs> and so yeah, that's really all we could think about on this set here. But until then, we're going to basically basically speculate on what's going to actually come in the set. Now, for the next one is Yoga's Hut. It's set number is seven five two zero eight. It's going to come with three main figures. Now, this set here we do have a picture of, and this is the, uh, actually the last set that we have a picture of for the, for this wave. It is gonna come with Yoga, a Dagobah, Luke Skywalker, a Luke Skywalker when he was on Dagobah, Episode Five, and we're gonna get R two D two. And for what we could tell so far, the hut, the Yoda's hut, what's it gonna look like? I think it's gonna be a very well done, and w very well approved upgrade from the last one we got years ago. And so yeah, this is gonna this is gonna retail I think for thirty dollars for thirty dollars. And I do think with all uh, with really with these thirty dollar sets, they're basically twenty five dollar sets. And so the price is, is, is as always is gonna be off. And so yeah, of course I do think the tr price should be dropped down to twenty five, but. Thirty dollars has got to be the price, uh, apparently. And so, yeah, for what we get here, I think this is this is an awesome set. I really think people are gonna really enjoy the fact that we're gonna get 
Yoga's Hut, finally, after years and years and years, <laughs> since the last one. So yeah, I think people are going to love this set. As you guys can see, it's going to retail for 29.99 euros, or probably more than likely 30 dollars US. And so yeah. So for the next one, it's going to be the Han Solo Landspear. It's going to contain two mini figures. It is set number is seven five two zero nine. And so, well, for what we can speculate is, we're pro if it's actually called the Han Solo Land Spear, we're probably gonna get Han Solo in that set, <laughs> and some other character, and some other character. We don't know yet, if we can tell. But looking at the set number here, seven five two zero nine, it's gonna retail for thirty dollars, euros or thirty U.S. dollars. And so, we don't know anything about the set yet other than now knowing the name and the amount of figures and the set number and the price, we don't know what it's going to look like. So, yeah, that's all we can say about that one. Next one is the Land Spear. Now, we don't know how many main figures are going to be in the set. And so, yeah. <laughs> but, from what I can tell here, set 5210, it's going to retail for $50. US and euros probably more than likely and so I don't know what to expect from the set to be honest but yeah uh, other than that that's all I can say about this just really saying I don't know what I'm gonna expect uh, what to expect so yeah <laughs> now the next set I'm very interested in is the Imperial TIE Fighter yeah back in 2015 we got the UCS Imperial TIE Fighter now we're going to get a remake of the 2012 version of the Imperial TIE Fire this year for the Han Solo movie. And so yeah, I'm interested with this set. I, I, I'm kind of excited for this because I got the First Order Special Forces TIE Fire and I'm guaranteeing you that it's going to look exactly, that this TIE Fire is going to look exactly like that one and design, design wise. But the color scheme is going to look gray and black like your usual TIE Fire from the Empire. From the original films, and so I think they got Lego's gonna keep the same exact exact design. They just tweak it up a little bit. Yeah, I, I I I like that. For it's gonna come with four main figures. It's seven five two one one. It's gonna retail for seventy dollars or maybe eighty. Hopefully not eighty. I'd rather have it retail for seventy. Just seventy. Do not raise it, please, Lego. Do not. P please do not raise it. Way go. Please, seventy is good. It's a good price. <laughs> it's and you know what? I just realized this. Remember back in 2015 when we when we first got the first Force Awakens sets on Force Friday one back in 2015 on September, and how I said in that review, yeah, I did a review on that first or Special Forces Tie Fire like literally almost two years like really two years ago. Um, <laughs> two or a year and a half year ago, and a half ago, <laughs> I said that weird. At least I, I did that review a year and a half ago. <laughs> um, I complained about the price being seventy dollars and how it should have been fifty or sixty. Now I know a lot of people did that on this set, and I'm sure they're gonna do it again on this set. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to do it again on this set, and I'm probably going to do that again on the, that review when I get this set. I'm probably going to get this set because it is a pre-roll tie fire. I got to have it. <laughs> I, I might. I'm still thinking about it. I, I still got I got still got to calculate everything because I'm planning on getting other stuff at the time, and so maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But if I do get it, I'm sure I'll be complaining about the price on that, on that review in April. Or me, <laughs> when I do that review. Now, the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. Yeah, we're getting another Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Even though we just got the UCS Millennium Falcon, we're going to get another one. <laughs> it's going to come with seven main figures. It's set number 75212. Now, this Millennium Falcon is probably going to be very, very different because this one's going to be based off the Han Solo film. And as we can tell, it's going to be different because, well, the name's different. It's called the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. So we know it's going to be different. It's going to have a completely, a completely different design. And 
actually I think I do have an image of it. I think somewhere. If I don't, then I apologize because I I did have a picture of it. All right, whatever. I did have a picture of it, but apparently I don't now. <laughs> apparently I don't now, but there there was a, a there was a linked image for the hot soul from a film that was released throughout the internet like a few days ago. And it had Chewie, Han, Lando. It's if I guess our female protagonist. I guess it was whoever lead female characters in this film in this hot soul film. And it had the boy of Falcon off to the side with the, a white and blue color scheme, a color scheme, and so, yeah, it, it's obviously we're going to get the Millennium Falcon in a different color scheme and different design-wise, so, yeah, and knowing, well, knowing way go, they got to raise the price on it, and if we, if we look, look under 75212, it's going to retail for 170 euros or US dollars, probably and US dollars, more than likely, 160 or 170. Lego, I, I better. I, I hope you put as much detail as you possibly could in this Millennium Falcon to make this a higher seventy dollars. Because if you didn't, I'm not gonna get. <laughs> I'm probably not gonna get anyways because I already got a, a perfect Millennium Falcon. So I need to have the UCS one. I will get probably in the next within the next ten years maybe <laughs> because I do want the UCS Millennium, Millennium Falcon. <laughs> I do why, but I, it's probably gonna be within the next ten years. I'm gonna get it because it's eight hundred dollars, and I'm not gonna pay eight hundred dollars for a set right now. I just can't <laughs> right now. So yeah, but I probably gotta skip out on this Moya Falcon because I already got a good one from 2015. It's the one from 2015 based off the Force Awakens, and that was very awesome in detail and everything. I love it. So I'm gonna keep that one and probably skip out on this one. But I'm gonna watch reviews on it, such a, it, it, as I, I always do for every single set. And see for myself if I it, and maybe my opinion will change and maybe may I actually want to get it. I don't know. By the way, see, but more than likely, this set is probably good. It's probably gonna come with Chewbacca, Han Solo, Randall Calrissian, and that's just three. And we're gonna get seven. So we're probably gonna we're gonna get four other characters that we don't know of yet. That we don't know about yet. Apparently, <laughs> well, obviously we don't because there hasn't been even been a trailer for Han Solo yet. So, like, what the heck's going on with that? We don't even have a trailer, a freaking trailer for Han Solo yet. It's going to come out in May this year. So, yeah. What's going on with that? <laughs> but, yeah. So, that's the entire wave. And only, no, no, my bad. That's not my, that's my, that's not my part. That's not my part. Sorry. We got at least two more sets and they're billable figures. We're gonna get a Han Solo billable figure, and for why I heard, and for why it was heard throughout the internet, it's gonna be based off the Han Solo from the Han Solo film. So it's gonna be the younger Han Solo as a build, as a billable figure. That's really cool because we already got Chewbacca. We just got Chewbacca in the Last Jedi wave of sets for billable figures. So yeah, great time to get to bring on Han Solo. There you go. Nice job. Nice job with that timing. <laughs> and the other billable figure, Darth freaking Maul. Darth Maul himself. <laughs> I'm definitely getting that billable figure. Darth Maul. He's one of my favorite Star Wars villains of all time. And so I'm definitely getting that billable figure no matter what the price. <laughs> and for what I can tell, the Darth Maul figure. Oh, wait a minute. No. There's no prices for these billable, fi billable figures. Yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> um. So, yeah. Get two billable figures. Hopefully we get two. I hope we get Dark Maul in April. Please give us Dark Maul. <laughs> I want Dark Maul as a billable figure because for what I saw from pictures, I cannot find a, a the rumored picture that's been throughout the internet. I don't know how I did not, I couldn't find it. I don't know how I couldn't find it, but there is a rumored image of the Bill Dark Maul figure in Wego form, and for it, it was all blurry everything. But what I saw. I really, I really liked. I, I was hyped when I first saw that on the internet. I was hyped, like, oh my god, we're finally getting Dark Maul as a billable figure. <laughs> okay, we're finally getting a billable figure Dark Maul, and I'm hyped for it. <laughs> and so that's the April 2018 Lego Star Wars wave. We're gonna get with the Han Solo merchandise and all the Han Solo toys, and everything. 
And by the way, guys, I do have a release date for that stuff. That stuff is releasing on April 20th, 2018. So on April 20th is when all the Han Solo merchandise, uh, Han Solo, a Star Wars story, a Star Wars, a Star Wars story. I don't know why I just say that right the first time. Um, Han Solo, a Star Wars story merchandise is gonna come out April 20th. So mark that on your calendars, everybody. It's got all that, all these new Lego Star Wars sets for the Han Solo film, Yoda's Hut. And the Jedi Clone Troopers Battle Pack, and the Millennium Falcon, the TIE Fire, Land Spear, Han Solo Land Spear, and the Han Solo Billable Figure, hopefully the Dark Ball Billable Figure, will be released on April 20th, 2018. Along with the Black Series figures, the action figures, the big, the Hasbro toy vehicles, every all, every single Han Solo a Star Wars story merchandise is going to come out. It's going to come out on April 20th, 2018. So yeah, Basically, it really close to being like a month away before the movie, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, like at that point, April 20th, it's gonna be nearly a month before the hustle film. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so that's gonna be it, guys. So in my opinion, for this overall wave, for what we have right now, for the info that we have right now, this is a promising wave. We're gonna get some pretty cool vehicles and sets. We're gonna get the tie fire again. Wish we got the tie interceptor, but we're still gonna have to wait for that apparently. Um, we're gonna uh, get another Millennium Falcon. <laughs> we're gonna get Yoga's Hut. We're gonna get a Jedi a Clone Troopers Battle Pack, which I'm sure everybody will be getting multiples of constantly. We're gonna get a, an Imperial Patrol Battle Pack, which I'm sure is gonna have two officers and two Imperial Troopers of some sort. Maybe from the new Han Solo film exclusively, or just regular Stormtroopers. You never know. Um, but yeah. So pretty cool sets in this Han Solo a Star Wars Story wave of set uh, of Lego Star Wars sets. So yeah, so that's gonna be it, guys. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, or next review, or next update video, or wh whatever you guys want to watch next uh, on my channel. So yeah, so have a great day, guys. Bye. May the force be with you.